video, we are going to create every Christmas tree doodles you'll ever need. Hey there, I'm Kazel and thank you for being here. The Christmas tree doodles that we are going to create today are very easy, so grab your art materials and let's begin. My canvas size is the screen size which is 2048 pixels by 2732 pixels. The first Christmas tree that I am drawing is just a triangle and for the star, I'm using my snow stamp which we have created on my previous video which is linked in the description box below if you are interested. So I have duplicated the stamp and changed the color and used the Gaussian blur on the adjustment menu. And since the effect was quite subtle, I do not like subtle here, so I duplicated the layer quite a number of times to make the effect more noticeable. And to add a little detail for this little tree, I drew some diagonal lines on a new layer and used clipping mask which references to the triangle shape that we have created. And that is the first one! Since we are going to draw some more Christmas tree doodles, I group these layers by selecting a primary layer and swiping the other layers which I want to group together to the right and tapping the group option in here to group them. For our next design, let's duplicate the entire group of layers of our previous Christmas tree doodle and we are just going to delete the layer where we drew the design on the triangular part of our tree. Just change the design on that particular area and you'll create an entirely different Christmas tree and for this, I am going for the circles. Just keeping it basic by using simple shapes and I'm just gonna vary the sizes to give it more, what do you call it, um, appeal, a difference. <laughs> so I just hope you'll understand, just add a tree trunk and we are done for this one. Let's go on to the next one. Of course, our classic triangle and fill that in with color. Create a new layer and choose another color. As for me, I'm going to use brown and let's draw a line in the middle and add some diagonal lines like this. Using the selection tool in the freehand option, I am going to select the branches part and I am going to tap copy and paste. Tap the arrow icon and select the option flip horizontal and turn on the snapping before moving it. Merge the layers with the branches and don't forget to activate the clipping mask. Add the star and a trunk and that is also done. So as for me, the star is not perfect. We are not aiming for perfection here. It is okay to not be perfect every time. <laughs> I will call this the scribble Christmas tree <laughs> because it's just a scribble really. So you just have to write a scribble, add a line in the middle, throw in the imperfect star, add some ornaments and boom, you have your Christmas tree. For the ornaments, I again used my snowflake stamps just because <laughs> and yeah, you need less than a minute for this Christmas tree, I hope. <laughs> For this Christmas tree, I drew a triangle and duplicated it twice and resized the two duplicates into bigger sizes and arranged them like this. Using the noise brush under touch ups in the brush library, I added something like a highlight on the bottom part of the triangles and shadows on the upper portion where the triangles met. Then add a tree trunk and a snowflake star and we are done! <laughs> For this next one, let's draw a triangle then on a separate layer using a clipping mask and using the white color, create this spiky stuff like this. I don't really know what they are called. <laughs> anyway, instead of using a clipping mask, you can use the mask option and use the black color for the areas that you want to mask. The effect is the same as what I am doing here. Feathery Christmas tree. 
that is what I am going to call this one. Using the noise brush under touch up, I am drawing not a tree really but an impression of a tree. And I used blue just to change things up. Also, I varied the brush sizes and the color by using darker shades of blue and also some lighter shades. Add some lines to suggest the tree trunk and branches of the tree. For this Christmas tree, I am making use of the vertical symmetry on the drawing guide and drew half a mustache looking lines in an increasing size as I go lower on the tree. Then I added some ornaments to add some interest and of course a star and we are done for this one. This is the autumn Christmas tree. I love how this one turned out and it's actually one of my favorites. I drew it by of course adding the classic triangle filled that in with color then I added a layer with the clipping mask on and reference to the layer with the triangle and I added some lines a lot of lines <laughs> and by using the snowflake stamp and the outline brush that we have created on the previous video I am able to add more details and interest to our Christmas tree and I love how this turned out For this one, I am drawing a drippy curvy shapes while thinking of the triangular shape of the tree. I repeated drawing those drippy curvy ones on a new layer every time until I reach the size that I want. Also for the layers, make sure that the lowest part of the tree is in the lowest layer. Using the noise brush in the touch up brush library, we are going to add some white on the tip of every shape to give that snow wheel look and I'm also going to add some Christmas tree lights or Christmas lights for some festive look. You can use the bloom effect in the adjustment menu if you want the lights to look like they are turned on and shining. And of course, do not forget the trunk of our Christmas tree. The next one, I kind of like the drippy look that we have created from the last Christmas tree so I incorporated it here. But instead of arbitrarily creating the triangular shape, I drew it first and added the drippy curvy lines after. And of course, the noise brush to add the snowy sugary magic of winter. And moving on is not easy. <laughs> so you can see the drippy look in this tree again. and. In here, instead of adding a white speckled stuff as a highlight, I am using a darker color for a shadow instead. To add more details, I am again using the outline brush. Now I'm going to rearrange and resize all of the Christmas trees that we have created. And here is the finished look. If you enjoy this, you might also enjoy these other videos as well. So, see you next time. Bye!